When a piece of media is beloved enough to sell well and snag critical praise, whether it's a movie, TV show, or even a video game, it's only a matter of time before the imitators come along. Let's take a look at some of the most recent and upcoming video game clones and figure out what all the fuss is about. Announced in June 2019, Genshin Impact is an upcoming open-world RPG from developers MiHoYo. The game has drawn criticism for its obvious similarities to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, both in art style and gameplay. When the first gameplay trailer for Genshin Impact debuted at China Joy, a Chinese gaming conference, the backlash began almost immediately. Most famously, one disgruntled fan protested the game by publicly smashing his PlayStation 4 following the announcement of Genshin Impact's release for that console. Though it remains to be seen how Genshin Impact may set itself apart from the game that has clearly inspired it, plagiarism today cut to the meat of the matter when they succinctly pointed out that the main issue seems to be more than just the similarities. Gamers seem to make mainly take issue with the apparent, quote, attempt to recreate Breath of the Wild rather than take the best elements of the game and create something new with them. Upon first glance, you'd be forgiven for mistaking Left Alive as another spin-off of the Metal Gear Solid series. However, Left Alive was in fact an offshoot of the popular front mission series of sci-fi strategy games. Left Alive traded in the franchise's usual gameplay for a more stealth-oriented approach. Continuing to take cues from Solid Snake and company, Left Alive's developers hired Yuji Shinkawa, an artist most commonly linked with the design aesthetics of the Metal Gear franchise, to design the characters for the game. The result is a game that looks and feels like a Metal Gear Solid wannabe. In fact, when Left Alive's first trailer dropped, VG247 commented that it looked, quote, a lot like a Metal Gear sequel with mechs. Don't worry, I got this. It ain't gonna be pretty, though. Sadly, the game didn't live up to those expectations. Tech Raptors review stated, Don't let the Yoji Shinkawa artwork trick you. Left Alive isn't the Metal Gear Solid revival you've been hoping for, nor is it a quality entry in the Front Mission series. It's a clumsy train wreck of a stealth action game that does neither franchise justice. Yeesh. This one might be Left Alive, but suffering reviews like those is a fate worse than death. In development from Zyzo Games, Enchanted Pawed Souls is a cutely animated action-adventure title that has kicked up quite a bit of controversy. Fans of Cuphead were quick to point out the similarities between that game and Enchanted Portals. Though games imitating the art style and whimsy of classic cartoons is nothing new, the run-and-gun gameplay also closely resembles that of Cuphead. The composer and artist for Enchanted Portals responded to the criticism in a surprising and upfront way, admitting that Cuphead was a major influence on the property. The art Artist who gave her name as Gemma to Polygon said, We wanted to make something similar to Cuphead, but always from a place of respect and admiration for the original. We were prepared for some backlash. Though Zyzo originally planned to raise funds for the project through Kickstarter, the developers have revealed that they are in talks with the publisher to finance and release the game. Whether that means the project's aesthetics will change remains to be seen. Devolver Bootleg may be the strangest game in this video, because this one isn't a case of a developer attempting to ape someone else's style. No, Devolver Bootleg is a compilation of games that are presented as knockoffs of titles from Devolver Digital, the folks who released Hotline Miami and Ape Out, that are actually released by Devolver Digital. That's right, Devolver puts out a parody collection of their own games. Introducing Devolver Bootleg. Whoa, wait, what? The world's first official gray market game launcher that exclusively rips off our own games. Holy. In this collection, Hotline Miami becomes Hotel Milwaukee, and Enter the Gungeon becomes awkwardly titled Enter the Gun Dungeon. These parodies evoke a classic 8-bit style, complete with a fun retro soundtrack that Rock Paper Shotgun cited as a highlight of the collection. While the games are short and simplistic, perfectly fitting the old-school arcade aesthetic, Gaming Trends Review concluded that, quote, Fans of Devolver Digital will get a kick out of this, if only for a short moment. If nothing else, it's nice to see that some companies can still poke fun at themselves, and that not every bootleg is malicious. Disc Creatures is an indie RPG that definitely wears its inspirations on its sleeve, with PC gamers saying that it feels like, quote, a lost Game Boy game, devoted to a very particular look and type of design. The game follows a young protagonist on a quest to collect and train numerous creatures. These creatures can be used in battles and stored in computer databases, where they will rest until they are again chosen by their trainer. As they battle, they level up and learn new skills. Sound familiar? This one is an interesting case in that it doesn't feel like a malicious ripoff of Pokemon. 
Pokemon, but rather a loving tribute to a game series that the developers clearly hold near and dear. However, its future may be a little rocky. As Bleeding Cool puts it, it's all an obvious homage. It'll be a miracle, we'd say, if it doesn't get hit with some sort of lawsuit with just how incredibly similar it is to Pokemon. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.